what's up everybody a little vintage ricky there if you have watched any of my older videos i used to say what's up everybody on every single video so anyway thought i'd bring it back for a second what's going on i hope you're doing super well i uh this week has been big huge week i did the challenge the first full week right every single day monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i'm on a zoom call with hundreds of agents and it was absolutely life-changing um, so it was a big week, been super busy. It was hard for me to make any content this week, but it's Friday, I'm done for the week. And I thought, let me do a video on this Zillow thing and give you guys my thoughts uh, on it. So Zillow came out and they said, in light of the NAR, in light of this buyer agency thing that's coming down the pipeline, we're going to bring out, we're going to introduce this seven day non-exclusive buyer agency agreement that doesn't even talk about compensation. So it's a non-exclusive, right? No exclusivity. You're not locking into an agent. And there's no talk of a compensation in this agreement. Now, this, uh, the, I believe it's the state of Virginia, if I'm not wrong. You can fact check me. I believe the state of Virginia came out and said, that's against our state rules, right? You, that, that, that's against the, the way that we operate here in Virginia. Um, it doesn't agree because of the no compensation part. And basically, they're saying nobody's going to work for free. Um, there's no there's no language about compensation in the agreement. So we're already seeing some backlash from some of the states. Zillow actually came out and said they were like, this is going to be state specific. You know, they said I read the article. They literally said we understand that some states may or may not agree with what we're doing here. And we're you know, that's OK. We just want what Zillow is saying is, is we want to do something for the industry. Right. NAR didn't say, Zillow, you have to come out with a buyer agency agreement. No, uh, Zillow just said, we're going to come out with this buyer agency agreement and anybody can use it. Anybody can use this buyer agency agreement. So they're making it available for all of us, which you really need to go to your broker. If you're even thinking about using that thing, you need to go to your broker and ask them if it's OK, et cetera before you use any documents that your broker has not given you. Um, that's that's rule number one. But when it comes to just the, the methodology here, right? Because a lot of people are freaking out about this. I've seen a lot of comments online. Uh, a lot of coaches are posting on Instagram and talking about it and all this stuff. It is just absolutely a non-issue whatsoever. <laughs> it's absolutely non-issue. It, like, as an agent, like, you I mean... If it were me and I were still showing properties, I wouldn't even care if I got like a one show. You know how we have a one-time show and sale? I wouldn't have like a one-time show. <laughs> like, you know, with 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 sellers, we would get this one-time show and sell, which meant that it's not on the market. It's not a listing agreement. We have a buyer. We're just going to get you to sign this, what's called one-time show and sell, which means we're just locking into this one buyer. If this buyer buys it, great. If not, you're out of this thing. Um, I would do the same thing with buyers. Like if the NAR is going to say, if, if my real estate commission is going to say, if my broker is going to say, I have to have a buyer agency in place before I even show a property to a buyer. Of course, I'm not going to be trying to lock anybody in to an agreement long-term and lock me in as their agent. Why would I, you know, when I do listing agreements, I literally say, you can cancel this for any time, for any reason. And I'm not going to charge you a cancellation fee. If you decide to, to, to cancel this listing after right after I take the pictures, that's okay. I'll hang on to the pictures until you decide to put it back on the market. Um, yeah, I mean, that's how I've operated forever. So to come out with a buyer agency agreement, that's basically the same thing. Like you can cancel this at any time for any reason. This doesn't lock you into anything. This is just something that I have to have legally to show property to you. Um, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I would have five minutes. Uh, non-exclusive uh, buyer agency agreements, you know, or per property, uh, you know, something of that nature. I would even have, I would even write it in the buyer agencies that, you know, this is specifically just to show you property, right? This doesn't lock, you can write anything you want in a contract, by the way, guys, you can write anything you want in a contract. I would literally write in there that you can cancel this at any time for any reason, you know, because if somebody doesn't feel like I'm a good fit for them to do business, I want them to go somewhere else because what? I understand abundancy. There's for that client to leave me, there's 15 million buyers and sellers right there, right in front of me that are ready to do business with me that actually like me and will be loyal to me. 
why am I going to fight someone who's trying to not do business with me? That is very counterproductive. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to let them go on their way. And I'm going to focus all that energy on production. I'm going to focus all that energy on people who actually want to do business with me. This kind of comes down to efficiency. This really comes down to efficiency and understanding the value of time. I was talking about today on the last day of the challenge, the value of time. If you understand how abundant the business really is, and a lot of you don't, if you understand how abundant the business really is, it makes you operate differently. Number one, it takes the weight off your shoulders that you're worried where your next deal is coming from because you know closings happen every day. And it's not that you lost a listing, it's that you gained 15 more opportunities. But it also makes you put your time in different places. When you understand that how abundant the business is, you quit spending so much time on this one deal, this one prospect, trying to get them to close, get them to close, get them to close, thinking that it's the only deal you got going on. You, you stop spending so much time in these dead-end areas in your business, and you open up to spending so much time on all these other possibilities that are incredibly positive that are not dead in situations. Some of them will be, some of them will be, that's the business. But when you understand the, the, how abundant this, this business really is, A, pressure off of you of where your next deal is coming from because you understand it's abundant and you're gonna go talk to the most people to do the most deals and you, don't, and you stop spending time on just one client. You stop being blinded, you stop being blinded by the one client so you can't see the 15 million others right around the corner that would love to do business with you. And when I say 15 million, I just mean more than you could ever get to. That's what I mean when I say business is unlimited for every agent forever. There's competition does not exist. It means it's like an all you can eat buffet, right? Is there an end to the food at the buffet? Yep, the show is. But can you eat it all? No, you show can't. And it doesn't matter how many people come to the restaurant more food appears and no one can eat it all. And that's the same thing with deals. More listings show up on the market. More buyers come into the market. More people move into your, to your market. Whatever the case may be, it's the same exact thing. It's a perfect analogy. The, 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 the real estate business to a buffet is a perfect analogy. It never ends. And when you understand this, you start operating completely differently. You realize Zillow seven-day non-exclusive buyer agency agreements don't matter. You can just do what you can do to help people serve people. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm just telling you, like, I didn't read the agreement. I don't care enough about it. Does it? It has nothing to do with the success of your business. I had an agent come on a Zoom today, and they said, you know, we're in this we're in this market where you know, basically in Florida, there's just a lot of inventory coming up right? Because of the condos and the insurance and stuff like that. I said, great. She's like, oh, really? It's great. I'm like, yeah, like buyers have a lot of options now. Like, why aren't you out there selling these properties that are coming on the market? Like, I wish I had a lot of inventory in my market. She's like, I was like, in 2008, there were 4 million, uh, there were 4 million properties for sale in the U.S. When I got back to the business, I said, it was amazing. It was euphoric. You know, prices were half price, a lot of inventory. It was euphoric. When a lot of people were just scared out of their mind, I was just loving it. And she said, well, well, yeah, that was awesome back then, but now we got high interest rates. And I said, listen to what you're doing. You're saying, you're, you're, make, you're making an excuse, and when I tell you that it's great, then you, then you say, yeah, but, and then, I, and then it, it, so she said, yeah, but rates. I said, if I say, if I tell you what's so great about rates, then you're going to say, yeah, but this. You're going to keep on saying something and making an excuse after excuse after excuse. When the fact of the matter is, is if you'll look in your MLS, what I told her, look in your MLS and realize how many closings are happening every single day in your market. Have you even looked at that? Do you realize that closing is happening every single day? The only difference is, is you're not closing them. And why aren't you closing them? Because you think the market's bad. So you're not taking action to talk to more people to see what you can do to help them buy and sell real estate. So you're just sitting on the sidelines saying the market's bad. It's the market's fault. Really? Closings are happening every day in your market. The market seems great to me. There's more deals happening than you can ever get to ever. And by the way, we're building our career here. Like you should be talking to people thinking about the, the longevity of your career. The more people you talk to, the, the more seeds you plant 
that's going to be like a three-year massive harvest. And the more you pull back this year, the worst your three years are going to be. In three years, the worst your business is going to be in three years. Why aren't you all in on your business regardless of what's happening with inventory, interest rates, Zillow, seven-day buyer agency, NAR? It doesn't matter, guys. So anyway, just wanted to, man, just wanted to come on here and just spend some time with you for a second. Uh, didn't really make a video this week because I've been so busy with the challenge. Um, but I am putting together another challenge. You can go ahead and go to setmorelistingappointments.com right now, and you can go ahead and put your name on the list for when that's going to come out. It's actually going to be, when's it going to be? June 8th, right? No, 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 July. July 8th will be the next challenge, right? It's going to be every 60 days. So July 8th. So there's that, and I'm really excited about it. I learned a lot this week about it, and um, there were some massive, massive transformations this week uh, with hundreds and hundreds of agents. I did a bonus day today. I didn't even have it planned, a bonus day, and there were 150 agents on the bonus day, and they stayed the whole time, the whole hour, as I was just teaching, and I'm just in the zone, just in the zone. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have a wonderful, incredible weekend. I'm going to be in New York next week, Thursday at the New York Real Estate Forum. Uh, me and Juan have a table. We'll be at a booth. So if you're there, come by, uh, say what's up. Uh, we'll be around. So be in New York next week. But uh, anyway, I love you guys so much. God bless. And we'll see you all very soon.